Don't we all just love a little bit of tall gameplay here in EU4? Because I certainly do. And I really do hope that you guys do as well. Welcome back, everybody, to Extended Family of Mods here as Florence in EU4. I have been having a heck of a time on this campaign, even though we've only done uh, a little bit of expansion. We've still, you know, grown quite a bit in development. As you can see here, Florence on the map, <laughs> we uh, control a very large chunk of the development of the uh, European continent here. And we also have a mission here, Lo Studio e la... E e la Sapienza, which is to, uh, yeah, do some stuff over here, right? You click a couple of the buttons, at least two, uh, completed innovative, or uh, have at least 12 mana per month. Innovativeness of at least 70. I assume we have the, you know, the, uh, no. Do we really have the innovativeness already? No. We're, how are we accomplishing this mission here? Oh, it's admin mana. Yeah, 12 admin mana. So we're doing that. Very good. And, uh, we will get enlightenment and some universities in, uh, Pisa, Florence, and Siena. Very cool. So, I can live with that. We're going to get universities that early. That's incredible. Very cool. All right. Well, we can also take tech now. This is a pop. So, we're going to be able to take it for 80 ducats under base cost, two years ahead of time. So, you can see how strong that is. We're going to core this guy up. Um, not one of our cores here. So, did it cancel the core process? It looks like it might have, actually. It did. Or either that or I never started it. Either way, no big deal. We're going to end up having some rebels over here in Lucky Luca. So let's just switch over there. Park that army there. Yeah, they're going to happen. There's nothing I can do about it. It's because we lowered the autonomy. And that's fine. I don't, I don't care. Lowering the autonomy was important for uh, what we want to accomplish here. We also need to make sure that we're able to yoink crown land ASAP. So let's do that. We need to get... Yes, this, this is what we want. Basically, we want to not have any more autonomy issues. Uh, we can keep this guy for 10 Republican Judition. I think that's definitely the right move. That'll make him a 5-5-6. Five, five, we basically are going to have good, good uh, leaders our entire game. Is what this is looking like for me. So then, since these guys are good to go, pull them down here and then drill them. Because, as I said, they'll still apply the uh, the uh, rebel suppression here. So you can see friendly troops 4.3, even though they are drilling the army. Which means we can also maintain the fact that we are getting army professionalism. Good stuff, right? So as far as conquest goes, we should kind of consider here. We can take... Uh... Right, finish out our idea group. Very good, which gives us advisors... Discounts, which is pretty nutty. Uh, obviously, you're going to take that. That's fine with me. Um, okay, so we got another one. Renaissance Humanism, which is to uh, complete innovative ideas and uh, have the Renaissance or have it accepted in all of our provinces, which will give us 320 mana and another 7.2 innovativeness. So as you can see, it's uh, stacking up pretty quickly here, which is pretty good for me. Um, all provinces owned by us in the Tuscany area owned by us in Heavy Temple. Okay, tolerance to the true faith and tax modifier. Well, you guys know how much I love the tax meta, so let's do that. Let's get those buildings built here. Now, this university will uh, be done, and that university is going to be very useful, especially in Siena, because we'll be able to core it eventually as well. Remember, we have a bit of unrest just because we haven't cored it yet. The core will go quickly, though, so that's not an issue. And as long as the rebels, which realistically the rebels aren't going to spawn. As our um, war exhaustion goes down, as well as uh, separatism goes down, we should be in a much better spot. There we go. We will core you up. And now we'll be able to take admin tech just about right on time. Isn't that nuts? And look how much extra mana we have. We're going to be able to dev a lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. Oh, shoot. I'm being raided. All right. So what I'm going to do here. I'm going to put these guys on local development costs, and we're going to click a button. Click a button. And uh, sadly, we cannot click the button, so we're going to lose our prosperity progress. Tragic. I uh, One thing I need to be doing here, let's have you guys... Uh, not hun not privateering. Hunting pirates in Genoa. As long as you have at least one. You can see here. 
unless somebody was privateering here, they will get a huge malice to there, and they basically they will not be able to uh, privateer anymore. So we're making really good money again, or now, so we can upgrade our centers of trade, which will make us even more money, right? Spend money to make money. You guys know the drill by this point. We can, uh, speaking of that, we can extort some money from the natives or from the locals here. And uh, we can use that to build some buildings. So I'll build that. In Siena, however, though, I need to build a, t a temple here, a, bi a church. And that will give us this mission. Then this one here will be for upgrading the uh, this one. And then what, what was the thing we get from it? 20 years, we get uh, Tolerance of the True Faith and Papal Influence. More Pope Man monies. Do we make much money from tax? We do not. So I'm not really going to worry about it, to be honest with you. I'm just going to invest a bit. 30. Eh, let's invest all of it. Humiliate rival against Milan. So this is what I wanted. Oh. Right. Milan was allied to them. So this is actually really good for me. I can humiliate them. And uh, I can honestly just get a show strength off. It'll help be good for our PP as well. Okay, let's... What is this fort zone of control here? Really? Alright, I guess. These guys are actually getting beat up in a different war. You can actually take land on a Diplo... Or show superior... Or Diplo war. So I'm actually going to do that. So I'm going to do that, just kill off his army, and then I'll let Pope Man handle that war. Honestly, it's fine. Okay, get you guys over here with a general, of course. Let's recruit a new one. Oh, shoot. Come on over there and stack wipe themselves. They have some rebels popping. So realistically, the best thing we could do would be to get on... So what I'm going to do here, this is a little cheeky, but what you can do is if rebels are winning a, like doing, oh, they won the siege. Unfortunate. So what we want to do is we actually want to get over there and take the fort from them. ASAP. So we'll head up there and reinforce it before the garrison refills, but uh, it looks like it's not, yeah, it looks like it's not going to work out, sadly. Okay. Um, I'll lose the mana. It's fine. We can take admin ta admin, and we're good. And uh, we have another mission. Improve the Pigeon Fort Port, which will give us local shipbuilding time and uh, get us a shipyard in Siena and Luca. Very good. Which is nice, because I actually don't even think I've unlocked those yet, have I? We've also cored up Siena. So we can yoink, and then we can... Let's get them all up to at least 30, just for good measure. Just for to make sure everything looks as good as it can over here. Now we got another mission done. Public culture. All pro oh, hey, look at that. That was a mission. So that will give us foreign spy detection and diplo rep for 20 years, I think I said. 40 development in Florence, which will give us average monarch lifespan. Well. It's a little expensive, but I mean, what else am I going to be spending the mana on? It's no problem for me. So yeah, I guess we'll just come down here. Hey, government reform progress. Very good. Let's get these guys out of there. No, no, no. Jerks. Of course they run away. Cowards. We have a mission. Sure. We have another mission. I said decision is what I meant to say. Or, uh, national tax and tolerance of the true faith. Now, this is going to be the next one. That's going to be a little expensive, but we'll be able to get that. And then, uh, so have at least 100 papal influence. That tooltip is a little buggy there. But yes, I assume that's saying, yeah, if you are Catholic, papal influence. If you are Protestant, church aspects. If you are. Uh, reformed fervor. So that'll give us morale of armies and Republican tradition. Both good modifiers to have. So these guys here, I'm going to probably show strength on them. We already got the humiliate. So there's not really anything else to be had from that. 
No maintenance on exploring leaders, huh? Interesting. Disloyal estates. The nobility is uh, very upset. Let's see if we can get them happy. Switzerland needs to like me. I can do that. No problem. Get some claims over here, I guess, since we have the uh, spy network on them. Yeah, both these wars are pretty much done already. You just need to speed five through them, right? Bologna has been uh, won. So what we're going to do is we're going to just let him sit on that siege for a little bit. Oh, shoot. That is not appropriate. I guess we might as well loot some provinces then. Mm -hmm. Where are you guys going, huh? Yeah, they're just running around. They have no idea what to do. Oh, they... Okay, so we're going to annex these guys. It's only 10 AE, so that's very reasonable. Uh, sadly, we're going to have to probably peace out Lanshut before we can get it, and that's totally fine. This AI being so derpy. Got a disease outbreak. Of course we got a disease outbreak. Why wouldn't we? Let's uh, get a, these guys down there and reinforce. That should be an absolute whooping. That's the, uh, the, the official name of it. Let's get another general. I Okay, that general is better. Still no siege pip, sadly, but... I reckon we're probably pretty close to being able to peace out Mantua. Maybe? Maybe not. I don't know. Hard to say. Let's get on over there with an admiral and see if we can blockade him into oblivion. We occupy half their country. Ah, uh, there we go. It's his capital as well. I will, uh, yoink his development. No doubt. It's a lot of development. But before we do that, let's, uh, spend our mana there. And that is our 40 dev, right? Which gives us average lifespan of our monarch, which is great. So Mantua will get yoinked. See, no, uh, that's good because that dev will go to our capital, which is already being handled. They will also uh, give us war reps as well as all of their money, as well as another alliance with Milan. Very solid. Now these guys will come over here. Uh, 10 percent tech cost is really solid I will definitely do that let's get those guys over on Salzburg so we can piece them out as well and then Lanshut as well so we're just you know doing our thing here actually need to be mindful because uh, those guys are gonna be a little aggressive there he's young go with the 666 why not welcome them all trading caravans yes please uh we don't need the stability so I guess we'll just take the mana right you can see here, we're still 11 years ahead of time on tech. And we need to remember to put that trade modifier back on there because that'll make us a little bit more money as well. But yeah, our income situation is looking very good. Now, as far as Lonshut goes, I might be able to piece them out by getting on their capital. No, soon more, enough war exhaustion will be stacked up though. Death to spies indeed. Death to all of them. Um, Let's take the Diplo. I like the production. Let's see here. What kind of trade goods do we have over here? This is mercury, huh? So what sort of latent goods? Do we have any available to us right now? Luke, this one here is a cow. So we'll be able to get turn that into leather. So all the production here is going to be super useful. Mm-hmm. Salzburg is on medium. Lanshut is on medium. Uh, that's fine. The innovativeness is worth, I think. Bologna, you are going to get, uh, annexed. You have no say in that. We're just waiting on it. All right, let's see here. More innovativeness? Are you kidding me? We didn't get it. Um. Very good. They're on my capital right now, I just realized. That's not fun. Hmm. Oh, po Confederacy member basic title. Lim! Is this you, Lamonin? Localize your mod. <laughs> Alright. 
So we're going to have to uh, get those guys out of the war. So Lonsuit is just feeling pretty good, all things considered. Yeah, this is unfortunate because the uh, my devastation will keep going up a little bit every month while they're standing on there. Till these guys get to occupied, I'm not going to be able to do much either. Uh, Re-election cost is solid. Do I need that? I think I'd rather have the... Nope, our prestige is already maxed out. Um... I suppose war taxes, right? That's fine with me. Free war taxes. That's free money while at war. Yeah, these guys are feeling good, man. There you go. Not feeling too good anymore, are you? All right, let's get these guys wiped out here. For some reason. Now, these guys have occupied their capital, so I should be able to piece them out. And uh, maybe even yoink some dev. I can. As well as... Give me all your money. And uh, that's it. That's 100% on these guys now. Let's full annex you. No coalition. Good enough. I do not need to yoink the dev because I can core it myself. Now, tradition for enemies. Yearly army tradition is solid. Let's go with the yearly army tradition. That'll keep us as close to positive as possible. And now these guys are going to get with a 100% deal. So we're going to have to come down here and get those guys off of that fort there, as well as obviously the army that they have there. Yeah, sadly, we're going to have to peace out Salzburg. And uh, the fact that their capital is holding on for dear life is uh, not helping, as well as the fact that they just released a, a vassal while during the war. All right. Let's see if we can catch those guys. We cannot. That is fine. We uh, can peace out Salzburg, and I shall. I will yoink as well, of course. Good aggressive expansion numbers. You can see here, since we're only taking a little bit here and there, plus our prestige is really high, which improves our improved relations and AE impact in general. So uh, all good stuff. So now this one here, we're just going to sit and wait, and we're going to get a ton of free mana from it. So I think you could actually make the argument that maybe it would be better, instead of taking the mana, to humiliate and like take all their money. And then, like, yoink some dev. And I think I would agree. So let's do that. Let's see here. No, we're going to go all the way up to the 100%. We got some rebels in Siena, huh? Let's get over there, handle them. Obviously, we can't be having rebels popping. Let's, uh... There we go. And we just need to win the Siege of Parma, and we're good to go. I'm going to drill that army because they can't get over here to Siena that I'm aware of. Truce with Aragon is over. Interesting. We do need to start considering trying to get to war with Genoa. That would mean we have to get Austria in a war. So let's get some claims over here. And let's take a moment and kind of look through what our... Um... So this is base production of at least 10. And have a shipyard. One of the following must be true. Either they don't have a province, don't have a port, or... They have 10 base production and a shipyard. All right, so I haven't unlocked shipyards yet that I'm aware of. It's Diplo 8. Okay. So I was just going to take some time. This one is uh, have a workshop and 20 development and 10 base production. Well, we have that. We just need the workshop, which uh, obviously we can do. We should build them in every province. You should always build production buildings. Workshops are incredibly strong. Production efficiency is just a really great thing. All right, we will now recall you. I will 100% them. And just like that, we have 53 dev in our capital. Pretty solid numbers. We're also up to 22 force limit. So let's get... Uh, I don't have any manpower from all the attrition I was taking from standing my army on enemy forts, but that's fine. Yeah, look at that. Not bad, right? Not bad. Very good, very good. I don't need the stability. The Republican tradition. Yeah, I won't lie. My genuine feedback is that the uh, the trade, the traveling, uh, the trade thing. What is it called? The trade fair feels very overpowered. The events you get from it seem um, a little overtuned. So when do we unlock this stuff here? So this is seven. 
But you need copper and tin for that one. So that's not going to work. Okay. Okay, okay. Our navy is over here taking attrition. Which is no good, of course. I will... Hopefully be able to get some crown land soon. All the development we're doing is getting us a ton. So realistically, I think what I would rather do is this and just yoink it. And then that's a lot of money. And then we can use that money to eventually upgrade our monuments here. So this one is five advisor cost and possible advisors. And then anything else? Just the Florence, the uh, Santa Maria. We'll be able to get that. We also have another mission done somewhere. Here we go. This is to have at least 1,000 ducats and was recently at war, and that will give us... Oh, shoot. End of the game, we get manpower recovery, but 1,000 ducats. All right, well, for a permanent modifier, I think that's fine. Now we just lose 1,000 ducats. So what was the modifier again? Mm-hmm. I do not see it. Oh, well, no big deal. Next idea group is going to be up soon. So let's see what Innovative pairs well with. Um, now, Innovative is one of those idea groups that tends to be very, very solid, uh, and it tends to scale very well with other things. Quality is the first one that comes to mind. Quality, you know, used to give 20% infantry combat ability, and 1.30 it got nerfed to 5, and due to uh, outcry from the community, it got raised up to 10. Uh, so offensive is my usual go-to because it will give you an additional siege pip as well as siege ability on top of the 20% you get from here. So it's actually 30% siege ability. Um, however, with idea groups expanded, I'm very keen on engineering because you still get 15% siege ability between these two. I'm not sure how it pairs with Inno though. Construction cost and siege ability 15. All right, we're going engineering. No doubt. No doubt. So we just need to wait till 73 and we can switch over to a mill guy. We have the money coming in, so we should probably upgrade our guys to all, at least all of them to level two. And uh, then I will switch over to a mill focus. So our next one here, uh, frequent elections, which will give us liberalism as well as absolutism minus at the length of uh, change of length of terms, longer terms and maximum absolutism goes up. Sortition, which gives us basically the uh, Venetian government type is kind of what that works. And then factional politics, which gives us RB, uh, enables bribes during elections. <laughs> I think we'll just go with the consolidation of power. Is that a picture of the uh, uh, the we the people? The uh, I always forget. Is that the Declaration of Independence or is that the Constitution? One of the things. I think that's uh, the Constitution. But anyways, max absolutism is solid, so I'll go with that. We don't it, we don't get anything from it from right now, but we will eventually. So here we go. A level two trader for half off. Absolutely. It's a bummer I just upgraded a guy, but I will certainly take you because we can upgrade you to a level three. And then we also have marble at Carrara, Carrara which will give us um, end of the game. Goods produced in Luca, which is marble, which is incredible. Monthly splendor and great project upgrade costs. So that's really useful. Now let's also take a look here at uh, marble statues. Great projects. So what is marble worth right now? three. So this latent good is going to upgrade it to four and also give us great project upgrade house as long as you are the trading in bonus where I imagine we will be the only one in the world. So that is very good. Uh, so Bologna can get cord eventually here. And then we can switch it over to dev cost and we can spend some mana so the University to Bologna is, what will this give us? Institution spread, institution spread and growth, and then institution spread in uh, the area, as well as idea cost and advisor cost. So that's pretty solid. I think we will end up upgrading that one. This is the one we need to start saving up for, though. Let's also make sure we're building up to our force limit, though I think next is limber, right? So we're going to want to save room for our value cannon. But we have one more, so I'll go one more infantry and the value cannon. But uh, not bad at all, huh? Not bad at all. Let's go with galley combat ability. Um, lose a stability like you do. I'm gonna 
Mm. I'll take a. I'll, I'll just stab up right now because being at three stab is just my preference. And we'll still be able to take this ahead of time and get our innovativeness. And so that's all fine and dandy. Uh, we want to make sure we're saving up our mill mana. That way we can take our idea groups, but also still be able to take mill tech at a time. You never want to fall behind on mill tech. Uh, and then Diplotech is also important to not fall behind on because you want to make sure that you are able to uh, maximize how much you are um, making from trade efficiency. Build the infrastructure up. Always be building infrastructure. It's very important. I know I said I want to upgrade that uh, Santa Maria, but we'll, we'll do it eventually. Eventually we will get it. We're in no major rush. You can see here. And then on the yearly tick, I might actually consider doing it. Uh, I'll lose the trade efficiency. I'm not going to take a loan out if I don't have to. Right. So there's two things. I need to get these guys loyal. That way I can yoink more crown land eventually. So Aragon's opinion needs to go up of me, which I can do. That's fine. I got busted spying on Genoa. Unfortunate. So as far as 100 goes, that's going to be a little tough. But uh, maybe we'll be able to make that happen. We'll see. We can take mill tech and admin tech six years ahead of time for very good deals. So we're obviously not going to do that. So what you do is you do some development here. It's crazy how cheap that is. All right. I will take it. I will take it on the yearly tick. Uh, Imperial privileges are anti-king status, really. Interesting. Oh, that's what the tooltip said as well. But I also think that's interesting. All right, let's take this. I don't care. I will take engineering because engineering is overpowered and it has a really solid modifier. You get movement speed. And then you also get fire damage and shock damage received. And then we also get yearly Republican tradition. Lads, we're overpowered. We grew one province today, but we grew a lot of dev. Look at that. You can see us from space. You can see the development of Florence from space, lads. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure you let me know. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe. Ding the bell. All that fun stuff. Join the Discord, subreddit, and Twitter. They're all linked in the description below. And uh, if you really enjoy me, what I do, and you want to support me, guys, I have a Patreon linked in the description of my videos. Um, it really is appreciated. It really is what allows me to do what I do. If you're interested in any of the mods, they're all linked in the description as well. And uh, that's all I got for you for today. This is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later.